What's the difference between, say, a soft totalitarianism, which you say is happening in the United States, and hard totalitarianism, which is what we've understood from a, you know, kind of a government top down type of a uh, situation? Yeah, Mark, this is a key question because a lot of people today understand totalitarianism from the Soviet example or from George right. Orwell's 1984. They look around right. and say, we don't have Big Brother. We don't have gulags. We don't have secret police. So how can you call this totalitarianism? Well, mm -hmm. I tell them, you, know, you may not have read it in high school, but Aldous Huxley's novel, Brave New World, tells us of the kind of totalitarianism we're living in. It's a totalitarianism that does not try to enforce its, uh, its ideology through pain and terror, but rather by cutting people off from jobs, cutting them off from participating in the economy, from participating in society and so forth, if they don't sign right. on to the, the lie. And uh, for example, I, I think a good a good uh, instance of soft totalitarianism is what was happening in Virginia recently with the school boards, with them very quietly moving in critical race theory into the classroom, lying to parents about it, lying to everybody about it until they got caught. And frankly, I find that to be hopeful. We can maybe talk about that a little later, that parents right. finally woke up and saw what was happening and took the power back that belongs to them. But these sort of lies are going everywhere. I was recently out in uh, California giving a, a, a workshop on Live Not By Lies. I talked to a Christian who's an active duty military member, and he said, Rod, the armed forces today are not what they were even two years ago, that we're getting this wokeness shoved down our throats by the senior mm -hmm. brass uh, who are trying their very best to enforce this ideology. It's causing massive demoralization and uh, hurting our effectiveness. So this is where the lies that the, the woke are trying to force us to accept can put our country at great risk. And this is happening everywhere.